Welcome back to Drinks and Chill. My name is Ju. This is Mac. And today we are going to be trying to break the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, <laughs> well, today we're not going to be trying. <laughs> so this is the Sassanac. The Sassanac. So we have any uh, Outlander fans out there? The TV show? I'm, I'm just, I'm pretending like I can hear y'all. Yeah, the TV show. Oh, never seen it. Oh, so the main guy in the show, like the, the male lead of the show, this is his whiskey. So it's actually a celebrity whiskey. So basically the premise of the show is this, it's like takes place in the 1960s, 40s, 50s, 60s, somewhere around there. And she ends up going back in time to like the 1700s. Oh, okay. Like before America was a country. And she meets this guy, this, this Scotsman named Jamie. Basically she falls in love with him and... So it's like back to the future? I guess so. Except mm. they go back in time instead of forward. Oh. Back to the past? Yeah, back to the past. So, um, Sassanac, in I guess old Scottish, Gael Gaelic, whatever the language was, means outlander. Oh. And that's what he called her because she wasn't from there. Oh, so that was like his name for her. He called her Sassanac. So the guy who plays Jamie on Outlander, Sam Hewen, Hugen, is the one who made this whiskey. Okay. And he named it the Sassanac. The Sassanac. Oh, that was underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I wonder what sound it's going to make. And then just nothing. Me nervous by watching. <laughs> well, I don't know what else I'm so like. Oh, I'll turn this way. Well, no, it just I don't know. So, this is a scotch. This, this is a scotch. This is a scotch. Mm -hmm. it doesn't smell like a scotch, really. What does it smell like? It's not smoky, not a scotch. It almost smells like a rye now that you mention it. Okay, if I was blind tasted or blind tasting, I wouldn't, I wouldn't guess this was a scotch. I think you're right, maybe you're right. It has a kind of a sharp smell, mm -hmm. especially for just being 40 or it's 46%, but it's still pretty, pretty uh, pleasant. The only note I'm getting is um, outside of sharpness is like a floral scent. I was gonna say, I feel like I'm getting a caramel. Maybe soapy, like the suds of a, sm of a, of a soap. I'm getting like that alcohol smell from uh, Hannah's sanitizer. So what do you rate the smell on him? I like the smell. I give it a 5.1. The reason I give it even that high is because I feel like there's more going on in the smell than I'm able to identify. Like there's other um, scents there that I just can't put my finger on. I feel like as far as celebrity whiskeys go, this one is on the better end of those. I'm gonna have 4.8. It's above 50%, high above 50%. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Try it. Try it. The flavor dissipates very quickly. Yeah. You kind of have to catch the notes very quick. Man, you're right. Yeah, on the first sip, the sharpness got me, but on the second sip, the second sip was a lot smoother than the first sip. Mm -hmm. There's just not as much going on. We got some floral, some sweetness, some creaminess. Yeah, I did get that creaminess. Is that like a, like a hint, like a just a hint of like lemoniness? Like a lemon drop? Yeah, like a citrusy, but specifically lemon. I feel like this is one you almost just kind of have to sit with it. Because like on the first and second sips, I didn't get much, but on that third sip, I was like, okay, yeah, there's yeah, I'm that getting menu. more and more after each sip now, mm -hmm. which is good. I'm getting like a Girl Scout cookie, like the trefoil. I feel like I usually get that in Irish, but I'm getting that here. I'm going to go with the 5.1. See, I'm like the opposite of you. I'm going to go like a 4.8. 4.85. Cause I mean, it's good. This is going to be kind of like that Tullamore Dew 12 year where I can see the merits to it. It's just not my taste. It's not for me. Mm. I like the taste more than I like the smell. See, I'm the opposite. Like the first one and the second one, or the first one actually, 
there was nothing there. But the second one, third one, it's a little better. But. Yeah. And it's interesting because I had drank this, I had drank some of this already. Mm -hmm. And I remember thinking that, oh, this is actually pretty good. So I don't know if it's just because this is the last whiskey we're trying tonight and we've tried like five others before this one. <laughs> or if it's just, if I'm just putting it like in a different perspective or something. I don't like it as much as I remember liking it before. So for the finish, I'm not entirely sure. So for me, hmm. if you ever spray like a cologne or perfume on you, you actually get it in your mouth. That's exactly what it tastes like. <laughs> yeah. You're like, oh, I don't have my mouth on that one. I was tasting it and like, as you were saying that, I was like, oh, I know exactly where he's going with this. <laughs> it's not bad though. Like it doesn't taste bad to me, but I, I can definitely see where you're coming from with that. It's, it's not so much the flavor as it is the, the feeling. Yeah. On the finish, you still get, I don't, I don't even want to say creamy, more of a kind of syrupy on the finish. Oops. But it's, it's a good syrupy though. Cause I feel like in the past when we've said, oh, this is syrupy, that's like a bad thing. But I feel like in the case of this whiskey, it's a good thing. It's not too syrupy but it's syrupy enough that it's like, It holds okay. the flavor. Yeah. So I'm gonna give it like a two. Really? I'm gonna give it like a 2.5. 2.5? Actually, I actually like the finish of this one, like pretty I'm good. Two. It's got that syrupy sort of viscous thing going on, but I feel like in, in the case of this whiskey, it's actually a good thing because it makes that sweet flavor stick around. I don't know, I just like it. I like the finish of this one. I don't know, we might have done this one a disservice by having it be the last one we tried of the day. Maybe. We have to stand by our answer. Yeah, answers. stand by our... Rating. Uh, yeah, our rating of it and our... Um, perception. Yeah, our perception of it as we tried it in this video. Yep. So, on the look, this is a very nice bottle. It is. It reminds me of like a Crown Royal bottle. Really? Like into the elegance of it yeah the crown royal is a very elegant bottle i was thinking more of the hibiki harmony bottle because the 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 hibiki harmony bottle is a little bit more like stout than this one because mm -hmm. this one is more like tall and slender whereas the hibiki is more like wide mm -hmm. um but it sort of still has that same sort pattern. of pattern going around with it and the box is nice as well it just reminds me like a like a Crown Royal or a, uh, what's that other bottle called? Like a Desaruna, just the elegance. Mm. So I'm gonna read the back of this box here. It says Sassanac, and it has like the phonetic pronunciation. Not an adjective. Scottish and Gaelic origin, circa 1700s. Outsider, stranger, that's what it means. For the nonconformist, the outsider, and anyone who just doesn't want to fit in, when you're forging your own path, carrying the crowd, or buying the first round, all are welcome here. Inspired by the highland landscape, ancient peaks, hidden glens, and rising morning mist, fresh water and firm oak run deep in its veins. Each glass is a warm welcome raised to both friends familiar and from different lands. The taste is smooth but distinctive, unmistakable, a unique spirit. Wherever we are, we are never alone. Spirit of Home, San, Sam Hugan. So it doesn't actually give tasting notes. It's just mm. like a poem. But look, they got all these awards. Oh, they got awards? Mm hmm And they got for this drink? Yeah, it, ha it would have had to have been for this one. Wow. This is the only one. That's surprising. Right? On the look, I'm going to give it a 2.75. I give it a 2.8. I do like it. I like the, is that emboss? I don't know what that's yeah, called. Yeah, something like that. It's textured. You got the unicorn. Oh yeah. The unicorn just by itself is everything. Is there a reason for the unicorn? Y unicorns are just awesome. Oh, okay. There's another unicorn. Yeah. And then look at this cork. It says the Sassanac. You would have thought that the Sassanac meant unicorn. We've rated the look. So our total scores will appear right here so you can see how we rated the sassanac blended scotch whiskey thank you so much for watching leave a like comment subscribe hit that notification bell so you know whenever we post a video and we will see you next time bye
Cheers. Cheers.